Hey guys, welcome back. This is JJ. Uh, welcome back to another update on my um, project in building the Tamiya Ducati bike. So, since my last video, I have now completed step 10, 11 and 12. So it is basically step 10 is to install the rear wheel and tire. Step 11 is the front wheel with the um, brake disc on both sides as well as the mud guard and the racing stand and then step 12 is basically fitting all of these onto the bike so this is what it looks like show you guys this as well these are the cutout sprues from all the parts that I have used so far and then to the actual bike it is starting to take shape so basically step 10 is to install the rear wheel step 11 is the construction of the front wheel and tire as well as the mud guard and then step 12 is put everything together so the rear wheel is pretty easy to installed there's only a few of the um, excess plastic sprues that I need to cut out and then give it a very gently or very gentle polish and the tire you just pretty much have to force the, the wheel in and it will click in properly and you will notice there is a arrow showing the direction of the tire for the rotation so you can see the pattern is kind of pointing to the front of the bike for the rear tire but for the front tire you can see the pattern is pointing towards the back of the bike but I have checked on the rotation symbol on the tire this is correct so very straightforward to install the rear tire and I'll show you the bike stand you can remove this it's very easy to fit on And this bike stand is one, two, three. So the frame itself is three separate parts. And then you have the four tiny little wheels. So I have really spent the time to cut out the little wheels properly and to give it a quick polish so they look very smooth and also the framework itself is joined by three parts but you probably can't tell from the camera because I have stitched them together very nicely and I also try to polish out any extra sprues as much as possible and then I give it a very smooth finish there's actually a split between here and at the bottom but you can't really see oh there you go you can see the line now and also right at the top is joint and you can see the second joint is around 
let me see so it's kind of in between the two wheels there should be a join mark which is here so there's a join mark there there's a join mark here and the join mark here so if you if you take your time and do it slowly and carefully you can pretty much achieve this result and you know if you sprayed it in a red color it will look really nice as well and also to maybe hand brush the center of the wheel in black just to give it a bit of detail so the bike itself you can either display it with the bike stand or you can use the kickstand as well which is this just like that looks pretty cool just to show you another angle pretty neat uh, the installation of the front wheel is also fairly straightforward you basically just stick the two rotor onto the wheel and then you feed this screw through and then it is joined the mudguard which I haven't glued it in yet so I can take it off very easily and this is basically formed in two parts there's a split in between so you just need to glue them in the middle so what I've done is I use the Tamiya cement I fix them together first and then I use super glue to basically try and fill the gap as much as possible and also on the top side um, if you do it properly you can use the uh, what do you call it the compound or the cement you can put a layer there, let it dry, and then you can sand it off to give you a very smooth finish. But for this project, I am trying to minimize my effort. So I've only used the cement to first glue the two pieces into position, and then I use super glue to give it a stronger bond. And then what I did is to use different um, type of um, filing so I think I started off with the black side which is a slightly rougher sanding paper and then I used the white side and then I finish it with the, the gray side which is really really fine finishing and then you will be able to get this kind of finish you can see there is a, a line in between but you won't be able to fill it because it is really really smooth so if I airbrush this in let's say a matte black color you won't even see the line in the middle after so make sure when you are joining any two parts that potentially will show a, a crack lines in, in between you can either use um, super glue or the uh, cement to basically close up the line so that when you 
either airbrush it or paintbrush it, the line is not going to reappear. So it will look like one piece as well. So this basically just clip onto that dot and that dot there. So I probably would just leave it to just click on, same as some of the side cowl and front fairing, just so in future if I want to display the bike to show the the engine as well as other detailing, I could always remove this as well. There is something that I've noticed, I think it's because the mudguard and the surface of the tire, they are very close to each other. So when I have this popped in without gluing it, when I rotate the wheels, the wheel would pull out the mudguard. So I'm not sure if it is just on my model. You can see there is literally no gap in between the mudguard and the tire. See, when I rotate the tire, it drags the, the mudguard out. But my intention is to display the bike in my cabinet, so I won't be rotating the wheels. So it doesn't bother me. If I do want to rotate it, I can just remove this and then the wheel rotate freely. So another thing that I could do is maybe try and file down that extra bit of molding to make it thinner and also I could always use sandpaper to kind of polish the tire surface a bit just to get rid of the the middle line where, where it joined so that would probably create enough space in between the mud card and the, the wheel. So look at that. I just managed to rotate the wheel. When I was doing it very gently, maybe just that area is a bit lower profile somehow. See, I could rotate it and then now it's, it's stuck again. But anyway, I'm sure I will be able to fix that easily. Or even if I don't fix it, it is totally fine because I don't intend to play with my models anyway. So let's put this bike stand back on. It does look pretty good and I am quite happy to see that the bike is finally taking shape. It looks more and more like a bike now. So um, what I will do, I will continue with the next steps and then I will see you guys in my next video. Take care guys, thanks for tuning in and have fun with your model cars and model bikes. Bye!